this is a viewer's request of um, a show and tell of a series of books um, of a modern classic. I liken it to our our Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings of our time. And indeed, apparently, George R. R. Martin is very much inspired by by that. Um, we. A lot of us know this fondly as Game of Thrones, or not so fondly. Um, here, the series actually called A Song of Ice and Fire. So, A Song of Ice and Fire, book one, two, three, four, five. Book one being A Game of Thrones. Book two, A Clash of Kings. Book three, A Storm of Swords. Book four, A Feast for Crows. And book five, A Dance with Dragons. So this is the Harper Voyager Deluxe Slipcase Edition um, with the coats of arms of the five major families that is part of this story, of this epic saga. House, um, that's the Baratheon, House Stark, which we all um, know and um, Love, of course, they're quite in the center of this whole story. House Baratheon, House Stark. Um, this one here is Lannister, House Greyjoy, and the last one being Targaryen. And so there's two more books coming. Um, it is glaringly obvious that these two are still shrink-wrapped because I am not quite there yet with my reading. So once I'm there, once I'm ready to read book for a feast for crows, I will open that and and then I will open this one when I'm ready to read book five. Book six and seven is still incoming, and I have been told that this one here, uh, book five, came out years after the four books because that was I think it took Martin years um, to complete this one. But when I purchased these. Um, all five are out, were out. So by then, all five have been published. And so um, I can't confirm that, but I have been informed that um, Harper Voyager is quite, um, quite good with following up so that they have collectors in mind so that the next, because a lot of us are worried that book six and seven may take years to be published, and by then you know, the books might not match the rest that was issued years before. So um, this is actually quite hard to get out of. I'm not quite sure why, because I don't remember it being this tight. So probably weather and temperature and the rest of it has a lot to do with it. So I will do this off camera. Right, so it came off so, and it's made, I believe, of acid-free paper. Um, there's a question whether this is leather, it's not. It's nicely textured, but I don't believe, um, I do not believe this is leather, it's paper. Very good quality paper. I purchased this on Amazon when it first came out, and then I purchased those two in a local bookshop at about $20 more um, than how much Amazon was selling for. But I wanted to support my local bookshop because a lot of the bookshops here are killed by Amazon. They just simply cannot compete. And they did tell me that, that they just cannot compete with Amazon. And um, no matter how hard they try, this bookshop that I um, was supporting, still am supporting now, um, is one of my ever favorite bookshops in the world. It's one of the first bookshops I found and bought books from when I first moved to New Zealand back in the 80s. And they now have to supplement their income by selling um, new books as well. And so it's quite tough for brick and mortar shops around here. Um, so you can see the spine here and then over here you could see the five um, coats of arms here repeated again Stark, Lannister, Baratheon um, the 
Targaryen, and this is, I know what this is, this is the, um, oh my god, I'll put a link down below to show you each of the coats of arms of the various families in the saga that is Game of Thrones here. So there is a ribbon bookmark. Um, so I think the font size is, I would say, about 12 or 11, I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Between 10 and 12, I would probably say 11, I'm thinking. So this is an addition show and tell, an addition review, I suppose, if you can call it a review. Um, I do not like my books with glue. I really dislike that. And I know gluing is inevitable, but I believe this is stitched. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm, if I'm not accurate in my description. It just has the appearance of it being stitched. Uh, So the paper is cream neutral uh, color, acid-free paper, and um, it's almost, it's such a well-known story by now that it's almost awkward to review it. Um, so it reminds me very much of Lord of the Rings and a lot of these uh, old Chinese um, sagas that my dad used to read in Indonesian, because none of, none of us... Um, was educated um, in the Chinese language, but these sagas like um, the Three Kingdoms and the Dreams of the Red Chambers and all these just long epic stories spanning across 30 series of books, I think if I remember from my dad, and also the characters, just thousands or seemingly thousands of characters. Now, Martin was a screenwriter, I believe, so his book is written almost like screenplay with um, each chapter from the perspective of one person, and I, I quite enjoy that. So so that's the, let me have a look at the, so that's 96, the first published, and this book is 2011. So I bought this several years ago when uh, it first came out, as I probably have mentioned. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is still in print. Uh, I have no idea. Potentially it's out of print. I think somebody, I read somewhere, somebody commented that this is not available um, for purchase anymore. But Or it's not, you know, it's not, it's no longer being printed, but I could be wrong. So this slipcase is a little tight, this one. And again, I don't remember it being this tight. Um, but I think it's the weather might have something to do with it. So that's that one there. So let's have a look at... I'm not going to open these two for the moment. I hope you understand. I'll just show you what I have here. Um, again, there's a bit of scuffing there. This was about, I think, 60 or $70 US. I can't remember. Was it US or New Zealand? I honestly can't remember. But each of them... Um, each of them was under a hundred dollars for sure. So book two on the inside here, which is with the um, House of House Baratheon here, and on the sides there, there is the five that we have on the spine so far. So far, so the um, Baratheon Lannister. As the successions move now, uh, Stark, Greyjoy, and Targaryen. So let's see book three. Similar every, with, with, with regards to everything else, it's similar. So let's take a look at book three, which is quite substantial here. Like, really, I have small hands, but still. So, it has the House Lannister, the Lion of the Lannisters at the front there. So, right, so those are different houses again. So, here we have, oh, I can never remember. I only remember the five. That's the um, Stark Lannister. I can't remember these. I've seen this, but I can never remember. So 
I suppose um, I will will check out in the um, there is like a a page um, of it's like Wikipedia for Game of Thrones, so I'll put that link down below. So it's been a while since I read this, but if you can see here, so I don't know how to put this. It's really quite heavy, so I can't I can't stand it like that without damaging the bottom of the spine there. But as I've mentioned, um, Martin is a screen player, so. Um, it's written almost like a play with all these characters listed in the background here. Um, let's see, rebels, rogues, and sworn brothers. And if I remember correctly, these are the families or the people, um, the coats of arms of the families and of the peoples involved in the saga of that particular book. So in this case, these five over here, and um, list of characters at the back here. So that's book um, three, and unfortunately I won't be able to show you book four and five until I open it, once I'm ready to read it, but similar to the others. The coat of arms is echoed from the spine to the front. It's made of blue, what I believe to be acid-free paper all around. Very lovely, nicely textured, um, similar to that of leather, which is understandable why some people just looking at it could potentially mistake it for leather, but I can assure you it isn't. Um, it's very, very lovely indeed. Um, so there is still that price there from the bookshop. They're still around, thank goodness. And so that is the um, Harper Voyager Deluxe Slipcase Edition of the Game of Thrones um, books, or in this case, a Song of Ice and Fire. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.